hello out of war players today we're going to be showing you guys another tutorial on how i set up my conveyors and some other methods in there there's many ways you can do this but uh, this is some of the stuff that i've been working with and uh playing with on my stream like setting the conveyors into the floors making junctions points so that way we can go down different um tunnels multiple ways of merging conveyors as well as some little nifty building tricks that i use to help things out move along this process all these suggestions are brought to you by, well, you guys. You guys would like to see uh, how I run things and how I kind of set them up and maybe explain them a little bit. So hopefully this tutorial will help. All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the actual how to place these things. Because a lot of people have been messaging me in the comments and during the live streams, Split, how do you get these things to line up so easily when you just can't really see it? Well, I normally do it this way. I hit C on the keyboard and then I can look and see which way the arrow's facing. That is the flow direction that the ore is gonna be taking and it'll be falling out the end where the arrow is pointing. That way, if you always know what direction your conveyors are going by looking at the floor and kind of wiggling it around, this will take a little bit of finesse work for you guys. You can, it's always easier to place it on top of a block, but let's go ahead and get into how they put these things into the floor. Okay, here we have the four-way junction, or it should be a three-way, because one's gonna go to your wash plant. So we're just gonna show you guys how I snap these in very easily for you guys. So all you have to do is, if you try to put it up here, look, it'll just wanna face that way the opposite way you want it to go. We want it to go towards the center, but if we try to do it there, it's gonna overshoot it. So we're gonna go away from it and make it spin this way. Same thing with the other one. Just look down at the block and we'll snap it in. Also, this way here as well, as well as there. As long as you have a block to snap onto the top, it's very, very, very easy. We're gonna go around the other side as well and just make a four way real quick. See, it's a little odd, but if there's an extra block it might mess you up. So just look down what you're trying to do and bam. Now we have a drop box, a drop area. And I'll show you how to do this step next to go to your plant. So if you do want a four way, then go into your plant. We're gonna show you how to do that next. And how we're gonna get ready to put the lower conveyors in by deleting some of these blocks here. Now remember some of these blocks obviously you may not have, but we're gonna be pretending the wash plant is over there to kind of show you guys how this is done. We're going to go ahead and delete all of these. Then we're going to place in blocks on the bottom. So we have something to put the, the actual conveyors on. So they snap to it. No problem. You can use floor tiles or whatever, but we're just doing blocks for this demonstration. And this can be kind of a pain. If you can't click it, make sure you throw out your tool, lower the ground down a little bit, and then just put the blocks in place here. Yeah, we're dropped down one. You have to drop it down. So they have somewhere to go to when they spawn out of the conveyors. It just makes it for less problems when you try to merge the conveyors together it will work that way but you will seem to lose a lot and you'll see a lot of popping and exploding so we're going to place these blocks like this make a nice exit port here and then uh, we're going to put a little block over on this side that way um we could jump up here on this side and then put the conveyor in over here and we might have to jump down the hole because it you know, may work, may not snap in. You may be able to drop it in, but an easy way to do it would be just to jump in the hole here and look which way we want it to go. It's not the way we want it to go. So we flip around and like we did up top, same thing applies. Can't place that there, but we can do this one on top like this. And we saw a little arrow pointing that way, which is where we you know make pretend that's where we wanted our plant to go. We can go on the side over here and put one on this and we can't walk in there because we'll be in the place. So you have to remove a block or dig a little tunnel and stuff like that. You gotta use your imagination because we're just trying to show you some basic steps here on this. So we can kind of move to the side and place it like that. And then it sticks out and we'll slap a couple extra conveyors onto this and go to this. The next step we're gonna show you is how to merge two into one with one of the methods that's, we'll just do a drop method. Now, instead of, you can do it many ways, we'll show both. All right, now this one is for the going into another straight conveyor, the same method we've already been using, but we're gonna do the drop it right into the line and then we're gonna build a box around it. So like I said, if you can't see, you don't wanna use a hopper. Hopper is kind of meh. You could use a hopper, but you really don't need to. You're not gonna lose any ore doing it with the conveyor. Hopper just, you know, some people feel better about the hoppers, but really honestly, it does not matter right now at this point. So we're gonna place it going that way. And then we're going to build a little cage around it 
that way you know, i like the cages for me personally i like them because i can see them if you have it above ground you can see the actual stuff working so we're going to snap one there that way we can move them this way and then we're going to build that little cage around it so we can kind of keep the oars contained onto the belt and there's no craziness they do pop out nine by at a time so this is a way you can do it which is conveyor to conveyor to conveyor just drop stacking onto the next one and narrowing your line so you don't got to run a billion conveyors all the way to your plant and then figure it out there save yourself a little cash these things do cost quite a bit of money and you can always put a cap on top of it because sometimes they like to go flying around so this will just contain everything for you nicely and then you can shoot it off to the plant in the direction that it was facing and you are good to go and here's another way of doing it demonstrated as the same we're coming out week one goes up we're going to put a bend and then we're going to put another bend and then a cage on it a two square cage so that's a four a two by two so that's four by four down onto another belt and this works really nice i've had no problems with losing anything it seems like i always get a very accurate amount of dirt coming to my plant when i use this uh the two cage method which we'll explain that here further okay first before we explain the two cage we're going to show you some stuff that can mess up in doing this as well and how to try to avoid it the best you can so you can place these in like i showed before and we're gonna we're gonna put them all running one way like this you can look at it don't worry about the other two conveyors it's just for me the previous demonstration so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it out like that so now i have one above it and i'm gonna run on this block and i'm, I'm gonna run a whole row of them down this line so that way they drop into the uh the other belt so this is if you want to connect multiple conveyors and stack them next to each other and have them go onto one main line you see a lot of people doing this because it's very easy just to make a waterfall coming out and it's a decent amount of money it does cost a lot of money but you know most of the time there is a ton of material especially if you're running on the new map quarry and uh you can uh, get some stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a basic cage structure around this and we'll show you the different methods on why it, it messes up and i'll show you the ore in kind of the same rough blasting pattern so we're gonna put these all right here along the side to make our cage it's only a two by two square which can cause a problem uh let's get this thing finished off here and show you what happens in this uh next uh, segment okay we have all the explosives set and we put the grate too high this is the my preferred so you get no spillage and i will show you both in the upper right hand corner you're going to see an ore counter after the explosion to kind of show you what was collected from this blast as it was kind of like go by sped it up a little bit so Let's go ahead and get this blasted and I'll show you what and why and explain it. All right, here we have all of those popping out. And then if you look real quickly, it's above the cage height right there. It's actually above it causing a problem. If there was a cage on top of that, you would have ores exploding everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how it explodes everywhere. And this is why you should do at least two down. So let's go ahead and put a top on it and remove the second. So that way we can get another blast. We'll do just repeat the same exact blast and we'll show you guys the difference. And here you can see them flying outside the cage because there's nowhere for them to spawn. And as well as you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, a massive loss in the amount. But that also could be a variation between the blasting and stuff like that as well too. Yeah, go ahead and give these a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And be sure to smash that like, subscribe, and all that good fancy stuff. And we're going to come out with some more tutorials for you guys and uh, show you guys what's going on. But other than that, peace out. Have a great day. Much love.